Man, my sponsor is running an amazing special right now, man. You can get a million coins for less than $20, man. It's cheap, fast, and reliable. Link the description box down below. Use code Bree and tell them Bree sent you. What's going on, YouTube, man? We're back here with another video, man. Today, we bring you guys the best players to use your 95 overall power up pass on. Now, I did yesterday the best player to use your 93 94 power up pass on. If you have a single check it out, being the Mutt 21 playlist, or probably be a card above you guys' head. Please consider like, comment, and subscribe. All it takes three seconds to do is free, y'all. I don't ask for nothing as much, but it helps out a lot. 18% of you guys watch my videos are subscribed, the rest of you guys aren't. So it's really easy to get notified. I think we're a pretty decent content creator. All right, so we'll start with Jordan Poyer. He is on my team, man. 93 speed, 96, excel, 92 agility. I'm 95 awareness, 95 play rate, 90 man, 95 zone, 86 press. Should you use it on him? You should only use your power up pass on the card that can stay on your team for a very, very long time. Or if the card is very expensive, or just simply make an upgrade to where you don't have to upgrade for a very, very long time. Now, Jordan Poyer may not be that, but he's actually a really solid, strong safety. He's been in my gameplays. He's really, really good, man. See, so power him up, 94 speed, maxed out sprinter, 96 speed for your, I think, Eagles and Washington team. I think he played for Washington. But regardless, it's an overall solid card, man. Next, we have Tredavious White. Now, obviously, he has been he got outdated really, really quick. Like, we're getting corners every week. But 93 speed, 95, except 93 agility, 87 jumping, 88 awareness, 96 man, 94 zone. One of the corners on this list to get 99 man, 99 zone. I think maybe Troy Vincent, I think. But... Overall, a really solid corner. I think the only issue with him is he's 5'11". You kind of want to be 6'1", maybe. This will be 6'0", but I, he, he's overall, he's, he's pretty solid, though. Next, we have Patty Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. Um, 83 speed, 84 excel, 84 agility, 95 throw power, 95 short, 93 medium, 92 deep, 94 throw on the run, 93 play action, 95 throw on the pressure, 89 break sack power, 90 break sack. So, uh, he gets everything 90 when fully powered up. So, overall, a really nice QB if you need a quarterback. On your team and i think it's what you guys probably most want to use it on either your quarterback running back receiver or defensive back next we have marcus peters my name is peter <laughs> um but he has 90, 95 speed base but he probably 96 speed can get 98 speed with a sprinter i'm pretty sure if you guys have ravens or chiefs team team 99 speed corner 95 uh man 90 zone 989 press he's a man to man archetype corner but most of the time we really just run zone because man he gets beat um besides that i mean a really really nice card he is my number two corner on my team um, if you need a, a really good corner, he's one of the guys for you guys. Next, we have T. Wow Hilton. He, I have fell in love with this card. 95 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 93 awareness, 94 catching, 89 catching traffic, 92 spec, 94 short, 93 medium, 94 deep, 91 release. Definitely a top five receiver in the game, man. It really is. Next, we have Charles Woodson. Now, just like um, Tredavious, he does not hit 99, 99 zone. He, he, he doesn't get both. He only gets one, which is 99 man. Um, 93 speed, 92 excel, 93 agenda, 94 play rec, 93 awareness, 93 uh, play rec. Um, 94 pursuit, 76 block shed. Like I said, overall, a really nice corner. But once again, he got outdated really, really quick. Like, like in a couple of days, he got outdated really quickly. Because he was definitely one of the best corners in the game next to Dion. Now we have Derrick Henry, the beast, Derrick Henry himself. Should you use him? No. Because if you have a lot of training, you can use the bi training bypass to just get Bo Jackson and just get, get that one. But I had to put a running back on there. I was going with Derrick Henry. That's at this list. Um, you could go with CMC, but I think the way Derrick Henry is with his weight and his height, his player model, he's really a nice running back, man. 92 speed, 90 excel, 84 agility, 86 strength, 86 jumping, 95 trucking, 84 CLD, 92 ball carrier vision, 96 stiff arm, 75 spin move, 89 drink move, 94 uh, carrying, and 95 break tackle. It's really, really high, especially if you run zone run, that's like 99 break tackle. I think zone run helps with break tackle, that's his power. Regardless, it's going to be high. Next, we have Troy Vincent. Um... He's definitely better than, I think he's better than um, Charles Woodson. 93 speed, 94 excel, 91 agility, 73 strength, 89 jumping, 93 awareness, 93 play rate, 91 man, 94 zone, 91 press. Overall, a really solid card. Uh, he's pretty cheap, like I said, mostly, some of these guys you can't afford, and he's one of them. But if you do need a good corner, he's not, he's not a bad option to pick. I'll take him over Charles Woodson, to be honest. Next, we have Denzel Ward, which is also probably one of the best corners in the game. But for me personally, he's been getting cooked. I don't know why. He he, he sucks to be. I don't know why. He, he's been getting cooked. He got the motor to number four. 94 speed, 94 excel, 92 agility, 90 jump, and 93 awareness, 93 play rate, 95 man, 90 zone, 94 press. I um, mean, he's 5'11, 190 pounds. Like I said, he's, ugh, man, I don't know. He's solid, but it's like, you, you don't live up to these stats like everybody else. I, you be getting cooked. You be getting picked on. Obviously, Dion, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 speed. He still gets cooked, but. I expect this Denzel Ward to play a little bit better than what it, from what he's been showing me. 
Next, we have Josh Allen, another quarterback on this list. He's currently my quarterback because I did the set, and he's Nat, and I like Gunslinger, and I like uh, a Escape Artist. I think Escape Artist now is probably good because it's a little bit cheaper, but even so, that messed up. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, 88 speed, 91 excel, 88 agility, 92 jumping, 97 throw power, 92 short, 91 medium, 89 deep, 95 throw, throw on a run, 90 play action, 90 throw on a pressure, 93 break sack. A really nice card, like his release. Next, we have Sean Taylor. Sean T. You guys probably want to use this because he's still one of the best free safeties in the game. 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 92 jumper, 92 win, 92 play rate, 83 man, 93 zone, 77 press, 79 block shot, 94 pursuit, 95 hit power. Obviously, the man's a little bit low, but he plays great. He plays great. Next, we have Rich Gannon. I have a love-hate relationship with this card because he is the only quarterback in the game still with Hot Rod Master and Gunslinger. You still can't find nobody who can do that. So, I recommend him too because he does get those, those two deadly combinations. But, I mean, overall, I would go with Josh Allen, maybe Mahomes, just just, just because of Gunslinger and Hot Rod Master. This is why Gannon is actually still here. Next on this list is going to be DK Metcalf. My opinion, one of the best receivers in the game next to Randy Moss and T.Y. Hilton. Um, 95 speed, 93 excel, 82 agility, 78 strength, 95 jump, 92 awareness, 92 catching, 94 catching traffic, 94 respect, 93 short, 90 medium, 93 deep, 95 release. This card here is amazing. He is what six foot three. This card is a god. Okay, he is a god. Um, not much to be said. I have the gameplay. I believe on every single card on this list. Yeah, I have done gameplay on every single card. Next, we have Alvin Kamara, 94 speed, 95 excel, 95 agility, 77 strength, 94 jumping, 86 trucking, 94 COD, 88 ball carry vision, 90 stiff arm, 90 spin move, 94 juke move, 90 carrying, 97 break down. This is the best running back in the game, in my opinion. Whenever he gets his plus one, he's already unstoppable, but just imagine when he gets that plus one. This card here is amazing. He's even a fucking he's a he's a, re a receiver threat as well. So you hit him with the flats, he's gone. Um, This is legit the, probably the number one card you should use your power up pass on because... He's just the best. So I think him, DK, and I think those, maybe Sean T, but besides that, these two should be the main guys you should use your 95 power pass on. And that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I am out. Peace.